So what I want to do today is help you figure out how to find the area of shapes that aren't rectangles by using rectangles. So here I have four shapes that we're going to do. Three are triangles and one is a parallelogram. We'll start with a parallelogram. So we've been learning in class about how rectangles are your friends. So if you don't have a rectangle, you can always make one. So one of the ways that you can do to make a rectangle with a parallelogram, start here, and split it into two rectangles. So the dimensions of this rectangle, rectangle one, two, three, four, four by one, two, three, four. Four by four. So the area of this so the area of this rectangle here is sixteen square units. The line of the parallelogram is dividing it in half, so this part of the parallelogram is going to be eight square units. We can do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four. This is four, two, three, four, this is four. And so four by four is sixteen, half of sixteen is eight. So eight by eight. The whole area of the parallelogram then is 16 square units. We can do the same thing with a triangle. So we can make another rectangle. And so here, the dimensions of this rectangle become four units this way, four units this way. Four by four is 16. Half of 16 is 8. So this triangle is 8 square units. So now it gets a little more tricky when we have triangles that aren't right triangles. Well, so you can do the same basic thing. Make a rectangle out of this part. And another rectangle the other part. And is in essence, what you are doing is making two right triangles. So you find the dimensions of this first rectangle here. One, two, three, four. Four. I seem to like the number four today. One, two, three. So it's a four by three rectangle. Half of the rectangle is six. So this part of the triangle is six square units. Over here on the other side, we know that the height here is four. And the rest of the dimensions is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5. So the whole rectangle is 20 square units. So half of that is 10 square units. So let me actually draw this over here. So if this part is 10 and this part is 6, then the whole area of the whole triangle is 16 square units. Now the most challenging ones happen when you have obtuse triangles that don't divide nicely into pairs of right triangles. So there are two ways you can do this. The first way is start again by making a rectangle that encases, that encloses the entire triangle. The first part that you can do is again the dimensions of the rectangle. The base here is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven units and the height one, two, three, four, five units. So the entire rectangle is 35 square units. 35 divided by 2, 17 and a half. So we know that this whole rectangle is 17 and a half square units. Now the problem is, is that I still have to deal with this part in there. So I know that this whole, this whole side is 17 and a half units. So what I can do then is draw another rectangle that takes care of that part. So I know that this part here is 3. So this is 15. So I know that half of 15 is 7 and a half. So I know that this part in here is seven and a half. So what I do is I take the section that I had, this entire section, 
which I know is 17 and a half, and I subtract seven and a half from the part that that was already from the part that I need to take out, and so I end up with the area of this triangle being 10 square units.